Hi, I'm Meg John Barker and I'm coming at you here from a very sunny um, California day. Um, I'm in Los Angeles visiting at the moment and I thought it was a good chance uh, to reflect on something I'm really interested in, um, which is the psychology of horror, um, because we're just coming up on Halloween and I thought I'd come out and show you a few of the amazing decorated houses here, which that is something they do in the US a lot more than the UK. So just before I go on, I'm gonna show you one of my favorites just around here. Hopefully you could see that. So we've got um, a house decorated in all kinds of ghouls and ghosts and goblins. And then I'm gonna carry on up the block and show you a few more as I keep talking. Um, so yeah, uh, Lisa Lazard asked me if I'd talk a bit about the psychology of horror for Halloween because I recently wrote a blog post on my blog, which is megjohnbarker.com, um, about the film It. Um, and that film has been the highest grossing horror movie of all time, I believe. Um, it recently came out based on a Stephen King novel, which I'm a big fan of. And the film really made me think a lot about why we like horror, why we like ghosts and monsters and why we're so drawn to that kind of genre um, and I think um, a couple of the um, Halloween houses I'm about to show you give you a bit of a sense of that um, so I'm just going to show those before I carry on um, here's, here's another one just as we're on the way So I hope you could see all of the um, gravestones and ghosts on the, on the lawn for that one. Um, so literally every house has something going on with it, pretty much. Um, this is a great one. So they've just got a big mouth on the door of some kind of vampire monster. We're near Hollywood as well, so a lot of them are referencing uh, movies. Um, this garden has sprouted a lot of giant spiders. And we have some skeletons resting there on some lawn chairs. It's great. Um, but yeah, so if we look at the next house though, um, I think it starts to get us thinking about what horror is all about for people. So this house, um, the last time I was here, which wasn't Halloween, um, a lot of the houses on this block had the same thing in the window, which hopefully you can see. So it's got the Black Lives Matter um, kind of symbol in the window and obviously at the moment in the US one of the big issues facing um, them as a nation is police brutality and racism um, and I guess that's really what I'm trying to say about the love of horror is that it really kind of people are really into supernatural horror and paranormal one of the reasons being that it takes our attention away from genuine horror um, and means that we can focus on kind of um, yeah supernatural or unrealistic horror instead I'm just crossing the road because I've seen another great house for that um, this is this is really great <laughs> so we got a whole load of inflatable uh, pumpkins and what have you I'm not saying this is the only reason that people like horror and um, enjoy monsters and ghosts there's probably many many reasons um, for that but I think that as I say a big one is about it it means that we don't have to think about the very real horror that human beings can inflict on each other like the um, racism like police brutality um, and like abuse of various kinds and um, I think that's really captured in the it movie because what we see in that film is that all of the young kids that the film follows are being abused in one way or another um, uh, in the family um, and in the school so pretty much all of them are victims of bullying in school which is a really normalized kind of abuse that so many kids get it's um, actually rare to not experience bullying and then um, one kid his parents are grieving and really neglecting him in terms of helping him with his own grieving process over the death of his brother um, another kid is possibly probably being sexually abused by by a family member um, there's also um, physical abuse going on um, and you know just uh, over protective parents all kinds of things going on for the kids and so I think the film is really saying 
that Pennywise, the clown, which I'm sure you'll have seen, even if you haven't watched the film on the kind of adverts, the scary clown that the uh, movie it is kind of all about, the bogeyman, that's not really the thing that they have to confront, even though they, the kids have to confront that um, bogeyman in the movie. Actually, it's about how the real horror of their lives is so normalized that it's not even seen as a problem. And what really became clear to me in the film um, is the fact that Pennywise the Clown only pops up in this town once every 27 years. And I got to thinking about 27 years, kind of the, the length of time between when one set of kids were children and the next set of kids, you know, like the parents having those kids uh, over a kind of 27 year period. And it m made me think about this thing called intergenerational trauma, which is kind of the idea that if we don't sort out our own stuff, if we don't deal with the things that happened to us when we were kids, then inevitably we'll kind of revisit that on the next generation, whether that's through being teachers or parents ourselves, or just in terms of perpetuating the culture of bullying and violence and abuse and treating people um, in, in very bad ways that kind of goes through the generations. So I feel, to me, that is what the film It is really about. And when I think about that horror, it feels like actually facing down a scary clown is kind of nothing <laughs> in comparison to that kind of horror um, and how and how difficult it is to actually stop those cycles of intergenerational trauma. So that is my take on the popularity of Halloween and it, or at least some of the reasons for it. I hope you've enjoyed the, this video and a short walk in LA on a, probably a much colder UK day for most of you who are watching this. It's absolutely roasting here. Um, and um, if you want to read more about that, then check out my blog, megjohnbarker.com, um, and also the OU Psychology blog as well, where we have lots of information about all kinds of psychology. Thanks so much.